Hey, good morning. Happy Saturday. Marin here from Indie Birth, just finishing up my quiet time in the forest and wanting to share some thoughts about prepping for the birth process. So I've shared here and there um, just a lot of the preparation this time and I guess many of the times, right? Feels like it's been more spiritual and emotional. But sitting out here in the desert this morning, just breathing deeply, trying to connect with nature, I realized that there's a really important topic that I also talk with the mamas I work with about. So I wanted to share that with you. Okay, so it's really simple. <laughs> we need our breath to get through and enjoy, perhaps, the birth process. Um, the problem, if there is one, is that most people in their pregnancies aren't really utilizing their breath. They're not really breathing. And I know when I sit with pregnant mamas, you know, at their home or in my office, um, it's something that comes up even with complaints of pregnancy. So sometimes things are aching and hurting, um, you know, our tailbones or maybe our pelvic floors um, or even heartburn. And of course, there's a huge discussion around all of those things. Uh, but a really simple thing to try is just to breathe deeply, just to breathe into that womb space, that pelvic floor, and to catch yourself too with um, breathing more in a shallow manner, which is completely typical in our lives today. So if you're pregnant and you can take some time to notice this, I can almost promise you it will be helpful in the birth process. Because really, the intensity of birth, the pain of birth, the pressure, um, whatever you want to call it, I think comes from just being disengaged with our bodies and feeling the sensations in a way that cause us to tense up and push them away. So when we're tensing, there is not breath there. It's almost impossible. However, if we're practiced and comfortable bringing breath all the way down to our pelvic floor, and we even imagine it kind of coming out of our toes, and then even all the other way out our crown, we are flowing with energy. And there's nothing scary or bad about the flow of energy if you think about it that way, right? And that's the birth process. It's simply the flow of energy, generally in this direction, the downward direction, um, but it's nothing to push away. It's nothing to fear. It's nothing to um, not want to feel if you think of it that way. So just to recap, practicing simple breathing all the way through our bodies, feeling how the breath affects our energy in different parts of our body means that we're more connected in pregnancy. Therefore, in the birth process, the hope would be that when we're feeling more intense sensations, um, which are definitely, you know, different for the most part than normal life, um, we're able to engage in that same way. And by adding our breath to the intensity or the sensations we feel, we bring life there. We bring an acknowledgement of the energy that is our baby moving through our body. So I love to think of it that way. Um, I do have a podcast from my last birth that I did afterwards called Rewiring My Brain to Change How I Thought of Labor Pain, something along those lines. Um, indiebirth.org slash podcast archives. It's on there. And it's one of our most listened to episodes. So that was a really, um, you know, sort of groundbreaking <laughs> uh, realization for me that we have that specific capability. Um, not only can we change how we feel things, uh, we can change just the way we think about them and changing the way we think about them and the way we feel about them and our attitudes can really change how the birth process 
is kind of like left in our memory. So my last memory was really fabulous. Um, Cove's birth was simple and easy and pleasurable and I'm totally um, expecting that this time because um, I don't think there's any reason not to. And again, if you're kind of changing your thoughts around these things, uh, it's a great place to start just with your breath and bringing awareness and knowing that when you're in the birth process, all the sensations you're feeling they are you. They are you. They're just the combined energy of you and what your body is doing naturally and your baby. So if we can just step into that, you know, step into that energy and feel it for what it is and let it flow through just like you're able right now to do, um, whether or not you're sitting in the forest, you know, just allow the breath to flow and feel it, uh, feel the vibration of wherever you're bringing attention to in your body. When you're bringing attention to the breath in your womb space, um, feel what that feels like. And when you're breathing all the way out your feet, you know, can you feel the actual vibration and the flow? Same exact thing in labor, just maybe in a slightly different way to a different degree. But we can really view these things the same. And I think um, that's largely you know, part of the problem solving when we go into preparation for birth is figuring out what do we need in our brains to see this as, yes, a physical process, an emotional and spiritual process, but also a psychological process. Um, our bodies are going to do in any way. So how can we handle our own psychology um, in a way that's really gentle and allows us to just experience it. Um, birth should be, I think, experienced in whatever way you want to experience it. There's no one way, but you certainly have the control and the power to manifest whatever it is. So I'd love to hear your own questions, your thoughts, your comments, and I hope you all have a beautiful Saturday. Have a great day.